Hello, and welcome to Rocket Fuel, a daily update of everything that's happening in the Rocket Pool community. My name is Wack, today is June 26th, and today's episode is going to cover a new smart node stack release. We are also going to be talking about potential Lido vampire attack on Rocket Pool. Uh, and this is interesting drama there. Um, we're going to be talking about um, hyperdrive enabling solo stakers and a whole lot more. So let's get started. Sequence start. Six. So let's begin here with a new version of the smart node update. Uh, and Fornax is here to share the news. And he says that today we released version 1.13.6 of the smart node. And this is a recommended update for all users as it includes important client updates, bug fixes, and new features. So the, one of the main new features that you can do is this enables um, snapshot voting and there's um sorry not snapshot voting the the voting on new um houston voting and um the, the article for this hasn't come out yet but it seems like fornax has let some of the stuff um slip um through this announcement so here there's um a link about participating in on-chain proposals and getting everything set up with the governance process and the you know how you initialize your voting and setting up your snapshot signaling and all that stuff um and rpl locking all this kind of stuff it, this whole page is i know that like you know people have been digging around in the docs so will have been able to find it but i think the team was going to make a big announcement of this with the article that's due to come out any day now and uh fornax is <laughs> asleep a little bit <laughs> thanks fornax for a little bit of alpha there but um Sorry if he gets in trouble, but he says um, the node operators can now use the command rocket pool pdow um, set signaling address to connect your node voting power to the address that will be used to vote on snapshot. He says check this page for more details and then please be on the lookout for a medium article by Langers detailing the new voting system in Houston and explain the initialized voting and set signaling address commands. Then there's a GitHub page that has all the information that you want. And after that, we have a client update. So this is the new version of Nethermind that I was talking about last week. That's got all the big boosts. And then there's Teku, Nimbus, um, and Prometheus. That's you know the stuff that gets set up for your Grafana. And there's a little bit of an update here about Reth that I'm going to be talking about later. And then with the smart node changes, there's a whole bunch of things that are being activated for voting. So this is um, add set signaling address and clear signaling address commands. You can add function to pass out EIP 712 signatures. There's issues with the ref archive node that are fixed. So there's a whole bunch of other things as well, but some of these have to do with the voting stuff um, and everything is getting kind of ready for the new voting system, which is of course really exciting. Um, so thank you Fornax for getting that out um and then next uh Pateris yesterday shared um, a forum post that was made and it said um should rocket pool this is this well let, let's actually go to the forum post and then we'll come back so um here this is from dimitri who is uh a lido core dev uh, and he works with lido community staking he says dear rocket pool community this is dimitri from lido community staking i'm reaching out to you with the question that was raised during preparations for the community staking module for mainnet release as you might have heard there's a csm feature called early adoption period during this period only curated addresses are allowed to create node operators in csm the early adopters also receive a discounted bond for the very first validator key uploaded there is a link to read more about it and then there's a there's a link this is now that there are discussions about the source of the early adoption list for the CSM mainnet, the main idea is to include proven solo stakers in this list. There are several sources of information about existing solo stakers available, including this particular list that has Rocket Pool operators on it that's prepared by Kate Stake Cat. Uh, and then there's a link. It says, since we, Lido um, community staking contributors, don't want to make our early adoption campaign look like a vampire attack, I want to explicitly ask the Rocket Pool community if we should include this list as one of the sources for the early adoption list for CSM mainnet. And it says, no, number one, the final decision on whether to use the protocol proposed list is after the Lido DAO is 
up to the later later now. So here we are speaking about the explicit inclusion of the state cats rocket poolers list to our proposal for the CSM mainnet. This is note number two. Any addresses rocket pool operators from other sources like Richard list, state cat list B, Lido, OAT holders, CSM testnet partners, uh, testnet participants will be included in the proposal due to factor their present in the presence in these sources. So it the way it looks like is like you know the, the rocket pool people are going to be included and they're just like hey you know we're gonna include this do you want it to be included val came up straight away and says uh, with a vampire emoji saying we can't and we wouldn't want to stop you another vampire emoji he says the node operators you want will already be on the rated list i'm not going to pat you on the back for cleverly marketing using our forum but we're properly permissionless love valdorf Doofus says a large percentage of RPL will go a long way to reduce uh, any objections I might have to using that list. Plus, you'd be buying into the most Ethereum line staking protocol. Win win. Excuse me. And then Noshua says it's worth noting that about 25% of the rocket poolers, node operators are using the old nodes as service to use their validators and aren't actually node operators at all. Given that you're saying that the main idea is to include proven solo stakers in the list, I'm not sure that you want to include these. Also, it's possible to register a node without ever creating any validators at all. There are some cases of this as well. These probably aren't people you're after either. He said, I'm not quite sure what state cat is doing to generate the list and if these cases are already filtered out or not. And then Nick so replied, just for your information, the GLC specifically removes all node operators from Rocket Pool validator set. So now let's go back to the Discord here and more people leaning into this um vampire attack line. Um Jasper says intuitively, I think so, but it's a weird thing to gatekeep. Um, and then Patera says, should Rocket Pool node operators be eligible for Lido node operator vampire attack? Um, John Lennon's ghost, which is Charles the Sixth, uh, says uh, he changed his name and his picture, which is really confusing when that happens. But um, he says vampire attack indeed would be lame if we censored it. And then Jasper says the majority of them are already included. Patera says, we just wanted to ask the community if we should vampire attack the community. Um, John Lennon's ghost says, the attack is already occurring and we've already formulated a response. And he's talking about new tokenomics. He says, kettling, it seems lame and off-brand regardless of uh, feelings on um, CSM. And the fact that they're targeting node operators with high performance reveals their intentions, read not favorable to small stakers. And... Um, Jasper says the fact that they're already including most rocket pool nodes, but asking to include it as if it would actually change anything makes it seem like political cover. This is a it's a political move. Um, John Lynn's ghost says it feels transparent and grimy, and um, Jasper says that's because we're in the know. And then um, Jasper says in six months when CSM is live and we're waiting on Saturn and they are taking node operators potentially, they are going to point to this as the chance we had and crypto Twitter will eat that up. Um, and then John Linson goes says the comment on not wanting to come off as a vampire attack while advertising on the forum is pretty disingenuous. I agree. What do you expect from Hot Topics' favorite blockchain developer? So um, this is actually like a little bit of a... Uh, insult to Dimitri here as you can see he's got like blue hair and um yeah you can see his picture and like just like you know hips the glasses and stuff so um John Lennon's ghost was having a bit of fun with that um so much so that Dimitri actually says thanks for the cool phrase for my profile and he puts it on his Twitter bio so he's now hot topics favorite blockchain dev and tech lead at Lido so um that's actually kind of funny um I have to give him that Okay, next we've got news of Reth. So Reth, of course, is an execution layer client. It's a new kid on the block, and it's supposed to be like the most amazing execution client in the history of execution clients. And for technical reasons, like it's programmed in Rust and it's supposedly like going to be super amazing. So if you are interested in um, changing your execution client to Reth, now we have the production ready version 1.0 um, and in the you know latest version of the smart node um, that's the 1.0 release client um, which is now uh, actually production ready now so uh, here Giorgio says after two years of development and successful audit by Sigma Prime we are finally releasing Reth 1.0 um, the first 
production ready release of our blazing fast ethereum execution client we invite um, rpc providers and stakers to run geth more below so i'm really hoping that reth will come out and take some more market share from geth maybe five or ten percent um maybe 15 or 20 percent would be amazing um and that that would be really cool here paul has an update as well and um paul says um the new it client is live all historical transactions aka archive node fit in just 2.3 terabytes of data which is actually really amazing it says the full node is 1.2 terabytes syncing from genesis takes around 50 hours it says this means anyone can run an rpc on a cheap pc like orange pi no need to pay for third party uh, rpcs which track users so this is actually a really great benefit of it and Jasper, of course, in the Rocket Pool community, he says our ETH is now live. Put a wreath up to celebrate because you can now get your R ETH backed by wreath. Our ETH backed by Wrath. Oh, I do. I'm gonna get so confused by this. It says savvy nodes have already been playing with it. So I know that Ramana was running Wrath um on one of his validated on one of his nodes, which is pretty cool. And now in the smart node, you know, you can change your execution client to Wrath, which is which is pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure exactly what the performance enhancements will be, but I know that it's been hyped up a lot and the space stuff sounds really good as well. So it's pretty cool. Okay, next we've got this uh, screenshot of um uh, new bot rocket watch output that Hululo is making and this is about predicting your rewards. So here you can see that um you know it gives you estimated rewards and he's using patches um, node as a, as an example but depending on when you run it it'll tell you it says you know value based on data from nine days ago this is for interval 24 which ends in eight days and then you know you're expected to get 41 rpl this period or 40 or 35 rpl this period um, and kind of giving you that idea of how many um how many uh rpl you'll be getting which is actually like really really cool so um if you have like you know x amount of rpl staked this is how many how much rewards you'll get if you have y amount this is how many rewards you'll get etc um so i'm actually really liking this um i think this is the kind of tool that you know we've wanted in the community for a while so it's uh pretty cool that Hululo has is developing this i don't think it's production ready yet um but um this is this is what rocket doc was looking for so rocket doc i think put in a, a request for something like this and um, i've been asking for something like this for a while um including smoothing rewards actually smoothing pool rewards as well that give you a projection of what it might look like but um this is this is awesome so thank you Hello, once again doing cool stuff okay next we got this post from sneaky ninja guy um a couple of days ago actually saying did sprocket pool get died and yes sprocket pool, pool did get died so for those of you who don't know sprocket pool is um patches um website that he made tool that he made that kind of tracks your rewards and like um yeah basically and it looks like the houston upgrade um, changed some contracts around that were kind of dependencies for sprocket pool and houston has killed it uh patches said that he's back home he said i'll see if i can fix it when i get home tomorrow night so patches is still not home yet but i think he's home now so it should be fixed soon so um if you are a person who's been using sprocket pool understand that the data on there it has not been good and um, it's going to get good soon okay flat money have been putting out some more tweets about our eth and rocket pool on base and here they said announcing phase two of flat money's launch we're excited to share that we're removing the deposit caps and opening up the flat money markets to base users who are passionate about on-chain money rooted in cypher cypher funk cypher punk I can never say that uh, ideals here's what's coming in um phase two so they're going to um you know how they're removing their caps and they describe what they did in phase one and what you'll be able to do more in phase two so the protocol is getting closer to going live like in the in an expanded way and then they've got uh, more information about uh, what you can do on base so here says somewhere of rocket pool and base educational series this week we're going to put a spot like on four DeFi products that have integrated our ETH markets. So Aerodrome, Balancer, Moonwell, DeFi, and Morpho Labs. So here they've got information about Aerodrome. Uh, and so this is an AMM that serves the largest liquidity hub on base. 
and then we've got um, more information about aerodrome um, and then tomorrow they'll be talking about balancer and then after that the others as well so it looks like they're putting out some really cool stuff every day about um, our ETH this is a reminder to anyone who's made it this far you can bridge your RE to base and request a rebate and RPL um, for your gas cost through the program we're running this summer and then there's a link to a google form that you can fill out, paste your transactions in there and you'll get some money refunded as RPL for your gas costs for putting RE on base you don't have to um, interact with uh, flat money or any of those other protocols just bridging it across will give you your gas fees back okay um and then here we have a more from flat money as well so it says a four times uh, eth bull has teleported onto taurus base but this just is any eth four time long it harnesses staked eth via flat money um, conjuring an extra three percent apy 12 percent when le le leveraged 4x uh, of a safe chain level yield and then there's there's more stuff that you can do with your re basically so you put your re into uh, flat money then you take that to toros and you can earn yield and of course you know none of this is financial advice i've not earned any money from any of these protocols none of this is sponsored content anything like that and please 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 do your own research interact with DeFi protocols at your own risk um you could lose everything that you put in okay um a couple of days ago i had news of halulilo and snow cones getting married well their marriage started off uh, a bit of a rough patch where their validators were not um attesting like from from the start and um it wasn't looking so good so the honeymoon's over uh and their marriage hit a harsh cold reality of light but it wasn't that big a deal uh what ended up happening was that um there was a bit of an issue with um snow's um clients and he just needed to restart uh, his um his system and it was all working so he says restarted services and magically everything's working now um so yeah he hadn't actually added the validators to beacon chain yet uh and um because of that he didn't get notifications of his missing attestations but i think he'll be getting those now <laughs> okay moving on to some staking news and this is actually a really nice thing for solo stakers so solo stakers have always had to like work around with a few different pieces of information there's 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 like to get everything up and running so there's like some guides that you can use there's dap node you can use you can use each docker stuff images that people have created but now you've got a new thing to add to that which is hyperdrive so a lot of people love rocket pool and love the the smart node stack well joe's kind of like used a version of that and he's making a module for solo stakers so he says is it too much to mention i'm working on a hyperdrive module for solo staking so um it's actually really really cool that um um joe is doing this um i think it'll make solo staking that little bit easier for people um you know who've been considering it but haven't actually done it yet um especially for those of you who've been rocket um rocket pool node operators in the past and we're really familiar with how the smart node works and now if you want to transition to solo staking you you'll be able to use a hyperdrive system and um, solo stake through that so this is nice that you know there's uh, more node operators coming into the node set ecosystem through familiarity with this the idea i guess is that you know if they're good node operators then they can just become node operators for um, node set two which is win 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 for everyone but it's really cool that um this is happening you know for solo stakers to use the rocket pool system they used to be like hybrid systems and reverse hybrid systems and all sorts of messy stuff that people had to do i i never had to experience that because i never was one of those users but um it is pretty cool that this is happening now so um crimson says the transition from solo staking to rocket pool to um, hyperdrive i should probably spin up my own mev boost and then that's what that was in reply to that joe is working on that so that's really really cool and finally we're going to end today's episode with some more ETH ETF news and here Watcher Guru says that the SEC um, Chair Gary Gensler says the process to spot Ethereum ETF approval is going smoothly um, I think all the pieces of information that have been coming in these last few days show that final approval should be done this week uh, with um, the um, the ETF starting next week trading next week so that is actually really exciting and um, I'm looking forward to that going live. So yeah, it should be good stuff. 
I think um, the markets have been kind of bearish these last few days. So sentiment's kind of low. Um, and that's a bit of a shame, you know, to be launching into like a low sentiment period. But um, I'm hoping that uh, inflows into the ETH ETF will, will um, go further than demand. And I think good things are going to happen with this. Well, go further than expectation, sorry, I mean to say. Um, and because expectations have been set really low. So I think uh, really good things are going to come from this, like I said. So on that note, thank you all for watching, listening and being part of the Rocket Fuel community. I hope you all have a lovely day ahead and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.